Good evening, med missionaries. Um, just want to welcome everybody here. For some of you that might not be familiar with med missionary, uh, we are a ministry that train people to be medical missionaries. Also, um, we have helped many people to recover their health because when they follow the health message and all the counsel that we have given us, uh, that God has given us, um, this really has an impact in the people that have been following uh, our, the menus and the protocols um, that we've been teaching. So we've been doing the training of Med Missionary for three years now. So we are uh, so blessed they have trained hundreds of medical missionaries. And today we're gonna have a special interview um, so I'm going to ask um, Rochelle to introduce yourself and tell us where are you from and what do you do for a living? Okay, my name is Rochelle Pangman and I live in Niles, Michigan, and currently I am a retired teacher. I've been retired for uh, 24 years. Um, in that last 24 years, uh, for about 20 years, uh, I have been a nanny, and I've taken care of uh, in about, uh, I would say, let's see, six, eight different children, three of which were my nephews, and uh, one was a foster daughter, and then I had another little girl, and then the last eight years, nine years, I've been um, working with a family and I traveled with them and they, uh, we just had a wonderful time. There was two little boys and a little girl and they are all now in school. So now I guess I'm fully retired. So <laughs> I'm kind of a lady of leisure, I guess you could say. Okay. <laughs> you just <laughs> working so many years. So yes. the reason we're doing this interview, because we seen the amazing um, miracles that have happened in your life because yes. you have very serious issues. So we're going to talk about that and, and we're going to go back to studying in the early 1990s. So tell us what were the symptoms that you were having at that time? Well, um, I actually didn't really realize that I had any symptoms, but uh, I think I was having some gut health issues. Uh, because um, I've always had um, my my cousin actually used to tease me about the fact that I had a lazy swallowing issues because I would choke a lot and um, I would just randomly not being sick or anything, but just randomly would after eating would just throw up and then I would feel fine after I threw up, I would feel fine. And that started it happening a lot. This will happen like every day or twice a week. Or how often? It wouldn't happen every day, but it would happen quite frequently. Yes. Mm -hmm. I so, don't know that I can remember the frequency, you know, the actual frequency, but yes, it would happen quite a lot. And it was just random, you know. And this will happen throughout the years, still, even, even recently, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And then yes. moving on uh, in time, in the year 2000, um, you start having some issues. What issues were you having? Um, I had started off being sick with bronchitis, and I'd had it for months. It just wouldn't go away. Mm -hmm. And um, one day, I just had three strokes. I started off not feeling well, and I just had a stroke. And then I started seizing, was having grand mal seizures, and it would go back and forth from seizures to strokes until I ended up having three strokes. Wow. And that was in the year 2000. And, uh, yes. So the reason where you, you were having these long infections, bronchitis, that wouldn't go away was because they found out that you had a CVID, right? Yes. they. It took them a while to figure that out, but they basically discovered that I was born without a fully developed immune system. Mm -hmm. And wow. so what had happened was that I just ran out of immune. Mm -hmm. Whatever I needed, I ran out. 
and my body just simply gave out. Mm-hmm. And then they discovered that I had CVID. Yes. CVID for uh, for uh, some of uh, our audience that might not know what it is, they, that's, that is um, common variable immunodeficiency disease, right? Yes, that's correct. Yes. There is um, part of the immune system that's not functioning or you were born mm-hmm. this way. Okay. And then um, in the year 2001, then you develop another um, issue. What was that? <laughs> yes, I did. Um, I, um, for some reason, um, I noticed that I was bruising. Mm. I was getting bruises on my legs and my arms, and they just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And um, they ended up rushing me to the hospital um, because they um, discovered that I have ITP, mm. which is a bleeding disorder. Yeah, so that's a idiopathic thrombocytopenia, which yes. is like a, the playlists are super low, so it's not protecting you from bleeding. Right. So then you have these big hematomas, you know, bruises right. that, and then you can bleed to death if they don't do yes. something. Right? So it was yes. that serious. So you were admitted to the hospital with um with a ITP. Yes. Mm-hmm. How many? Uh, I. I would say I I was admitted in 2001. Um, Then I believe it happened again, like in 2002 or 2003. And then I went for quite a few years without it. And then it happened again. And then it happened like three years in a row every year in February, which is odd. It happened again. So I can go for years and nothing will happen. And then all of a sudden it, my platelets just drop. And then I have to be admitted and I can have like a platelet count of 230, you know, 200,000 and I'm fine. And the next day there'll be 3000. Wow. So it just, you know, the bottom just drops right out and then they go down to zero. So it's just very random. And it can happen so fast that, you know, very fast. Yes. So yeah, after very- that, you develop another autoimmune disorder because the ITP, when the platelets are so low, um, in these cases, is an autoimmune disorder. But yes, then you it develop is. another autoimmune disorder. What was that? <laughs> then I developed GLILD, which mm-hmm. is granulomatose interstitial lung disease. Yes. Yeah, so the, that means that little tumors in your lungs and then, um, so you have many times they did biopsies and they did surgeries. Yes. Mm-hmm. Can you tell us how this um, disease manifest? Well, you know, I have had it for so long that it just kind of became a, a way of life for me, but um, I couldn't breathe. I was very short of breath. Um, and actually my breathing was so shallow. My sister said one time that she tried to breathe the way I could, that I did normally. And she said she nearly passed out. She couldn't understand how I could do that because my breathing was so short and so shallow mm-hmm. and so quick mm-hmm. that she said it nearly made her pass out when she tried to breathe the way I did. Hardly any oxygen going into your lungs. Right. And- and right. you have to sleep with CPAP and a I lot, did. Mm-hmm. A yeah, lot of because, times you have to be on oxygen, right? Yes, because um, I was, um, uh, I stopped breathing during the night. Um, mm-hmm. I would stop breathing like 25 to 30 times. Wow. Uh, mm. uh, I think they said it was that per minute. I stopped that many times per minute breathing because I wasn't getting enough oxygen. So yeah, I had to be on a CPAP. Mm. And mm-hmm. then, and so you were coughing a lot, building a mucus, and super mm-hmm. shortness of breath. And this was uh, so you ended up in the hospital. Uh, so they had to do procedures also, right, to clean it up. Yes, the they would do like bronchial lavages where they put a tube down into my lungs and they fill my lungs up with water, and then they suck the water out. And it's supposed to help suck out all the mucus out of my lungs. They would do that quite frequently. Wow. That, that's, 
that's extreme it seems to me that's extreme the extreme of the long conditions that anybody can have and uh, so then also there's one thing that um throughout the years you develop uh digestive problems so mm -hmm. what kind of digestive issues well i had a hiatal hernia mm -hmm. and then um i also had gerd the reflux mm -hmm. yeah and also you were mentioning a lot of bloating, gas, belching, um, and the vomiting that we said it continued throughout the years. Till mm -hmm. I made you, right? Yes. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, which was recently. <laughs> it was yes, it was. <laughs> yeah. So um, and other issues that you were having, because it goes along with severe conditions, it was like you were severely fatigued. Oh, I, yes. Oh, yes. And I ask I you, how is your fatigue from zero to 10? And you say it's 10. It's kind of like the worst fatigue somebody can have. Yeah, I I was so tired. You know, I would take three or four hour naps in the afternoon. I wouldn't get out of bed till nine or so in the morning. And, you know, I hardly, I didn't walk very much at all. Mm. I was very tired. Yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah. With all, all those issues, so we met, um, I don't remember, but I can find out the date. <laughs> it, <laughs> it was it was not that long ago. You so did. I have, I have here November the 1st. So it's okay. September, December, not even three months. No. Mm -mm. Not even three months. So this is fairly recently. And uh, so you started the protocols and the diet. It was the, um, you know, the for the menu that you started implementing. Mm -hmm. And seems that was working, but but then it seemed like it wasn't working, um, because you were having severe issues with your lungs. You ended up in the hospital and then came back. But um, you you have a sister that was so persistent. Right? Yes, she was. <laughs> she was so persistent that you need to do this. And, um, you know, and you cooperate with her and, you know, but you were tired because you were so sick. And one day you asked me, is this it? You, you asked me, is, is that that my body doesn't have anything more strength to fight? Mm -hmm. Because you I felt did. like you felt that that was it, that you were going to go downhill. There's nothing else that can be done. So yeah. we pray, right? And we pray and we say, well, let's, let's try all we can. And we're going to leave it to God and, you know, and, and trust that he will do whatever needs to be done. And so you, your sister had to do all the work because you had no, no, right. no energy to do anything. Uh, you barely were able to, to take a breath. Mm -hmm. uh, even sitting down, you were having a hard time even speaking to me when we were talking. <laughs> yeah, so that's amazing true. how sick you were. You came back from the hospital and uh, you know, at the beginning you're not feeling good at all, but uh, little by little you start improving, right? Yes, I and did. Start, and you start feeling excited about it. Just for, with every little improvement, you're very thankful, very uh, grateful. And we all always pray, uh, you know, Pray and thank God for everything that he was doing in your life. So in the this last um seat, uh, so it's two months, a little over two months only. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you know, last last week we we met and uh, and you were telling me that it's it's kind of like you're back to a normal. Yeah, <laughs> I life. do. I feel <laughs> I just feel, you know, I can walk I mean we walked over two miles today we walked almost three miles the other day and I I'm not I mean you know you get tired after you exercise but I have the energy to do it and you've been very active all day you prepare mm -hmm. clothes, yeah. uh, cooking yeah. going shopping visiting family right. things that you couldn't do because uh, uh, at the beginning when we were helping you you were just so short and so bright that all you could do is be see, sitting and hardly yeah. talk sometimes. But now is um, you having a, a normal life and your symptoms are almost gone because 
the main issue uh -huh. that you were having at that time it was uh, your lungs that you were still mm -hmm. visiting the doctor to do um doing the lavage of the lungs things like that but it's been like a few weeks uh i believe and it's been improving until uh, last week when we talk you were not shortness of breath at all mm -mm. and mm -mm. no cough at all mm -mm. and uh, your saturations have been normal yes in <laughs> fact i did i used the uh you know the finger thing uh for and i'm in the 90s 98 98 <laughs> that's pretty normal i mean super <laughs> normal and then so all your symptoms of your lungs which are was a pretty serious um is uh you you're basically normal no more cpap no more oxygen mm -hmm. one time and you were telling me that you went to the doctor i believe it was last week right you went with mm -hmm. the doctor, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and before, the last time you went there, you were in a wheelchair, you were in oxygen, hardly talking, and uh, and you were heavy, heavier, right? Because yes. Heavier. Yeah. So, yeah. so when you went last week to the doctor, what was his impression? Very surprised and very excited because when she listened to my lungs, uh, there was no wheeze, no crackles, no nothing. And they have never said that to me before when they listen to my lungs they always hear a wheeze and they always hear crackles and she didn't hear either one mm -hmm. at all praise the lord praise the lord and, and, yeah. and other problems that you were having also with digestive problems um you know your digestive issues are, are gone also right because you're not throwing up anymore no nope, not, not throwing up burning no, I don't have heartburn. Mm -mm. And the no. blood is gone, gas is gone. So, uh, yeah. so the GCC is pretty much normal also. And yes. uh, other issues that I recall uh, were that you were having pain, right? And your joints. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't. You don't have anybody and you're very active. Um, Walking just like anybody, you know, two miles, which yeah. is good amount of work yeah. miles is, yeah. is amazing and also tell us with with this other issue that you were having the itp because your playlists when we started your playlists were kind of low but then when you went back to the do the blood test the um the playlists were normal right yes my platelets are still in normal range so it's still yeah. normal so it's been still uh, in normal just, range mm-hmm mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm just uh, going back to all the things. So everything is pretty much gone. And this is just such an incredible healing mm -hmm. um, that has occurred in, in, in your life. And you were telling me you haven't felt this good in how many years? I have not. I have honestly not felt this good in probably 30 years. Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And uh, yes. so there is hope for people that are very sick, right? Yes. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. It seems like your life just started. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So um, God must have some special plan for you, something special for you. You know, with, with this incredible testimony that you have, you know, people that are dealing with these serious issues that they're in and out of the hospital with the ITP and also with the glial, glial that they just, they're in and out of the hospital that, you know, that's, yes. that's how it is. And, uh, you know, of course, digestive issues that is your life is never the same when you have these serious um, issues. But, you know, it, God has been so amazingly gracious and brought you back Um mm -hmm or your life and tell me a little bit about your spiritual life how, how how this have impacted you in your spiritual life and you walk with God well you know when I first got sick I I was a little bit angry because you know I I had a job that I loved and I had a home that I loved and I lost everything I lost my home. I lost, you know, 
my my career and everything. And I had a hard time accepting that. I really did. And but throughout this whole thing, I have actually seen God bless me in ways that I never would have imagined. And so to see him actually heal me right now, I feel like he has come, you know, has healed me from this 24 years of this and, and now in less than three months and I feel like he's healed me and I feel very blessed even though I had to go through all this, which I, you know, I'm not sure why, but I know there's a blessing in it somewhere, but mm -hmm. I feel like he has completely blessed me and healed me. And I feel like he's given me my life back. Praise the Lord. Praise the you Lord. Mm -hmm. He's given me my life back. And like my sister has said several times is maybe I can use this. Maybe God wants me to use this as a way to um, be a witness to the doctors in, you know, uh, to show them that you don't have to use the medicine that you can use healthful living to heal, mm -hmm. you know, someone like me. So maybe that's my, maybe that's my mission now. Praise the Lord. That's a, 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 a <laughs> amazing mission. <laughs> that is very good because you have many doctors. So I you, have many doctors. Yes, I do. So you have the opportunity to witness to every doctor and tell them what, what you did. And because yes. you were following everything and anything the medical system, pro, you know, provided and right. you were super sick. You feel yeah. that you couldn't make it anymore. You feel that you were dying pretty much. I did, yes. But um, so God has restored your your health, your life, yeah. your life back. And and you have, yeah, I totally agree with your sister. You have an incredible mission. And who better than yourself that have this amazing testimony and uh, that God has, you know, give you this. Yeah. Yes. And I can show the doctors that, I can do this just with healthful living mm, instead of, you know, the, all the medicines and the pills. And yeah, I heal, you know, yeah, and body I, heals you know, itself. You, you were taking also for your lungs, albuterol and pills and puffs and all that. And, you know, mm -hmm. your lungs are clear now and you don't need it. So all the medications had been decreasing, decreasing and no longer needed in uh and and what a what a blessing what a what an incredible um yeah yeah story for for yeah. anybody anybody so i just want to tell our audience you know if you know somebody that's is super sick and there is no more hope or you yourself might be sick there is there is hope definitely there is hope mm -hmm. um we have to cooperate with god applying this health or living that uh Charlotte, uh you know like we were talking about so um i just want to let you know that you know you can if you've been searching if you've been praying for god to show you his ways um you know god has an answer for you so i i, I would like to invite our audience um to join this um this missionary training where we teach all these principles about how to eat to heal. And the protocols are pretty much the super healing foods. You know, the menu are the healing foods and then the protocols are the super healing foods, right? So we combine the super healing foods with the healing foods and then we can see restoration. And this is all by gas power. And, uh, and God has provided this for us to heal. And especially in these hard times, these difficult times, on there, there's hardly anybody that's healthy anymore. But God, God has still the means to to um, restore us. Mm -hmm. so, Amen. Yes. Do you have any last words for our audience? 
Well, stay healthy. And if you're not healthy, come to Years Restored and follow Mercy's protocol. It will heal you. I'm a living testimony to that. Well, we give all the glory to God and we'll give all the glory to because uh, um, we always pray. I believe we tap the the faith, probably things would not happen, but it's God is the one that gives us the power to follow all these principles and be wanting even to do that because it's, it's very easy to give up. And uh, all these principles we do teach and um, med missionaries. So I just want to invite everybody go to medmissionary.com and register for this course. We're going to start a course actually um, in March. Yeah. March the 4th, I believe. So let me check the schedule. March the 3rd. So we do, it's a training that we do six Sundays live uh, with Dr. Josh Che. Uh, and sometimes other doctors join us to do these classes. And we have extra two weeks for people to catch up with. There's so much information there in, uh, in our course. Uh, with more um, scientific classes about what we do, what we do. And also we have videos about how to prepare the foods. We have natural remedies videos and a lot of stuff is coming. Uh, um, you know, um, we just want to let you know um, all the stuff that is going on. So let me just take a minute to do this. So R Rochelle, you don't uh, not uh, perhaps this, but we're gonna also launch our autoimmune recovery program mm -hmm. to be brought to the churches and the communities. So it's a okay. four weeks. So people go to the, if the church is presenting two hours once a week and teach them how to do uh, these recipes and the protocols and lectures, things like that. Mm -hmm. and that's one thing that we're teaching. Another thing is how to start a lifestyle center, and we'll give them all the all the information. Um, we give them the recipes, the schedules, and videos how to do it. We presented live, and now the the information is archived. And also how to do detox, mm -hmm. detox with all the all the recipes, things like that. So there is so much information that we have put into. You know, we call it the mem membership. After the, mm -hmm. the the classes, which is eight weeks, then go into the membership to continue education because we want to keep our community in touch with each other, in touch with us, mm -hmm. and to continue building up and learning more and more. So mm -hmm. um, we just want to invite the community uh, to join us and uh, so. Um, learn all these principles that God has given us. This is God's plan. So yes. I just want to thank you so much for for Rochelle for being willing to to share all this. A lot of stuff is very personal, and for being willing to be a blessing to many people. Oh, so thank um, you. I I want to pray for you, and uh, and we will finish this interview. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for what you've done in Rachel, Rachel's life. This is just super amazing. Give us so much hope. And uh, we just want to thank you because um, you can restore us when when everything seems impossible. But we know nothing is impossible for you. And we're mm -hmm. going to ask if there is somebody here that's listening to this program that do not give up, that, that they can come to you and ask you for total guidance and that uh, they will receive blessings. So I just wanna thank you so much for um, this amazing story and may you continue blessing uh, Rochelle with um, what whatever special ministry you have for her. In Jesus name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Mercy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you too well god bless you and take care take care everybody until next time bye bye, bye.